keeping all the world been free. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody.
And it's a few things kind of like I can tell what God has done for me. And it's something even better. You don't even know. Like I know what the Lord has done for me. And I'm just grateful for what God is doing. He is a marvelous God. He's a glorious God. And he deserves all the praise and worship. Our scripture reading this morning. Our scripture reading, if you can say it. John chapter 15, our scripture reading this morning. John chapter 15. Got so much, so much. I tell you, it's just the more stuff it is in the world, I got more stuff to thank him for. Every time COVID, every time Luffy Pops, Polio, whatever's out there, I just got more to thank God for. That he is still keeping us. He is still blessing us. John 15, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purges, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye expect ye abide in me, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abide in me, and I in him, the same bringing forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them to the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Amen. 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 Touch my continue in the love.
You have somebody on your side, or something on your side that they do anything. Doesn't make any difference whether you're sick. He can heal you, right? If you're broke, he can give you money. He was so powerful, he can raise the dead. And all he got to do is just speak to him. He ain't got to amen, rub hands on you, pull on you. All he got to do is speak. He's got the power to do anything. I'm glad I know that today is. I have experienced some of this power. I don't know about you, but I can say for myself, I have experienced some of the power of the Lord. Truly, we praise God today for being in the house. Even for this opportunity once again to come before you, amen. Knowing that God has blessed us all week long. And we have to give Him praise. Not just because it's Sunday, but every day we should give God praise for His glory, for the arm, for His grace, and for His mercy. We thank God. Looking around, I see a lot of people out today. Some of them are sick, going through some things. But nevertheless, we are here. And where two or three are gathered together, touching and agree, God will be in the midst. Hallelujah. So because of that, can we give him a praise in the house? Can we say hallelujah in the house? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We praise God. Amen for having our dear friends in all the way from the big city of Martinsville, Virginia. And the Jones family, we thank God for you for us today. And to all our visitors, in the name of the Lord. But we're not going to hold you long. Because due to Corona, everybody would like to have a speedy service. <laughs> And because of Corona, it makes the folks want to stay at home and watch it on television. But it's not like being together with the saints of God, giving God praise and glorifying Him. Hallelujah. It makes me feel good to be around my brothers and sisters in the Lord and glorify the name of the Lord. So those of you with your Bibles, turn with us to the gospel. Be with you a few minutes here, just for a little while. Of St. Mark, chapter number five. We want to look at verses 25 through 31. Then we want to go to Philippians chapter three and verse 14. I know y'all don't know this stuff on heart, don't you? Yeah. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 3, 25 through 31, and also Philippians 3, 14. For the word of God read, And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and has spent all that she had, and not, amen, it was not getting better, hmm, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind him, behind, and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing and saw in himself that virtue had gone out of him. Turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? 
And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude torn in thee, and sayest thou, Who touch me? In the book of Philippians, chapter number 3, verse 14 says, I press toward the mark for the pride of the high calling of God and Christ Jesus. I press toward the mark. I want to use a subject of a few minutes today. It's a blessing in prison. It's a blessing in prison. We today, as people, don't like to too much press or put forth a great effort in doing anything. We like to take the easy way out. <laughs> if I don't have to sweat, if I don't have to, you know, worry about this, then why? But pressing seems to be a time of the past. If you don't believe me, look around you. <laughs> oh, praise the name of God. You see, a lot of people are not here because they don't want to press through a lot of things. They don't want to press through feeling bad, press through a headache, press, amen, when they're tired. But they always wanting God to do something for them. Oh, praise the name of God. But this life living, amen, a Christian life is considered of a press. Sometimes I don't want to be here, but because of who I am, Come the on. job that I have to do, I got to press my way. Oh, hallelujah. Got to push. We can't push no more. I can't sing in the choir and usher. It's too much. We want the easy way out. Oh, pray. I see it every day. I see it every Sunday. A lot of us, because it's virtual and because we can see the church service, amen, at home, we don't feel like getting up and pressing our way. Especially when we're feeling bad. Especially when we're going through some problems. We don't want to press. I do it next week. I go next year. I go when I feel bad. And we know if we wake up on Sunday morning not feeling good, the devil working on our minds and telling us it's all right. You can watch it on television. We will not press the will. Go and lay back down, praise God. And after the service begin, the headache of the bad feeling go away. Because the devil has done what he wanted to do. Amen. This Come is out. a pressure. Living a Christian life is a press. Because times come when you don't want to do what you got to do. Oh, hallelujah. And I'm glad that I got a God. Amen. That in the midst of my troubles, that He come and answer my prayer. Well, what about you, praise God? Do He come and do He answer your prayers? Your prayer. Press, praise God, is amen. It's a move, a cause to move. It's a position that, amen, contact you with something, amen, that can continue to put physical force, continue to press on something. Some of us can't stay in that. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Amen. But as I begin to look into the Word of God, here I find an individual, praise God, that was going through a problem, a medical problem. This problem that she had was considered, praise God, contaminated, unclean. Hallelujah. When they were going through this period of time, they could touch nothing, sit on anything, because it would become contaminated. You don't believe me, read in Leviticus, read about, praise God. Amen. The 15th chapter, the 19th through the 20th verse. You will see. Even when this time was going on, she had separated herself from the people. But this, amen, young lady, praise God, she was hemorrhaging from 12 long years. I don't know how she did. I don't know how she went through. But 
Bible said that went through, praise God, all kinds of doctors. Hallelujah. Nurses and pills and medicine. But see, like instead of getting better, she began to get worse. Oh, isn't that something else? You are there trying to find a cure for your condition. Amen. But getting worse, worse, and worse. Hallelujah. She didn't have nothing no more. She had spent down to her last dime. Hallelujah. Didn't have no insurance. Didn't have, praise God, no Medicare or Medicaid. Amen. Didn't have nothing that she could fall back on. Amen. But it seemed like when man have gone this extremity, and so I just can't do me no more good. Amen. That the Lord will step in. But my problem is why do we wait? Amen. To we have tried everything before we try God. Oh, praise his holy name. As I look at this, I can see the unclean, the contaminated, the nasty woman, praise God. As she got enough nerve within herself to come out of the house and come down into the public where she heard a man by the name of Jesus that he will open the blinded eyes and stop the dim ear, calling and laying the walk, healing all manner of sickness and disease. Hallelujah. She said, now I tried everything, but did nothing work. But I believe if I make it to Jesus, if I touch his garment, I will be made whole. Now if anybody know anything, Oh, praise God. About bleeding and about hemorrhaging, it makes your body weak. It takes all your strength from your body. But I can see this lady. I don't know what her name is. All I know, she had an issue of blood. She had a problem. But she said, if I can make it, make it to Jesus. Now, Jesus surrounded by all types of folk, sick folk, eminent folk, all kinds of folk, mentally, praise God, challenge people, he was surrounded, but I can see the woman, she had a press, good God from Zion, she had a press in her spirit, and as she began to make her way, Jesus, hallelujah, crawling up to him, oh hallelujah, believing if I can just touch his garment, I believe I'll be made whole, but she made her way, she reached up and grabbed his garment, hallelujah, I believe Jesus fell, just a touch.
beside us and step in front of us and he began to make the way where it seemed to be no way. People of God, these are present days. Wars, rivers, of wars, earthquake and dire places, floods all around you. People losing a whole family. There's a prince that said, I love God. Come on, man. You know what I'm talking about. There's a prince. Hallelujah. President just came out of court. And tested positive again. There's a pressure coming all around us. Monkey flew all around us. That's all around us. You can't even come in the house of God where folks ain't trying to rob you. Just this week, Bishop got robbed. Hallelujah. When he was getting ready to do his service, the devil is everywhere. But let me tell you one thing. When you walk with the God I walk with, when you serve the God that I serve, he will protect you. Because he said, no weapon for the Christian. Now some of y'all get that mixed up. That is a good and a knife, a soul, but it's sickness. It's everything that the doctor, that the devil brought you. That God is there to bring you through. But we got the presence. These are present days. Food the double. Side hell, amen. Got smaller. Amen. Praise God. Went to the grocery store yesterday. What we normally spend $60 costs $120. Food going up. Gas going crazy. Amen. But the paycheck is still the same. We got the pressure. That's why I wouldn't forsake coming into the house of God. I press my way. If you ain't got no gas, call me. Just as long as I got a gun in my pocket, I bring whoever want to come to the house of the Lord. Don't let this stop you. Keep on pressing. Don't be ashamed. We all in this thing together. I'm not trying to go to heaven all by myself. I will you, 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 you to go along with me. And whatever I can do to help you along. Talk to me. Sometimes you ain't got to talk to me. Because the God I serve, we reveal things to me. Hallelujah. So if I walk by you, got $20, and I slip it in your hand, don't ask no question. Just move on. Hallelujah. Because God told me, Hallelujah, to help you along your way. There's a blessing in present. Hallelujah. Later, amen. Didn't have nothing. All the way down at the bottom. No money left. No friends. Nowhere to borrow the money from. Only thing she had is faith to believe that I can just touch you. Is gone. Mm -hmm. I'll be made mm -hmm. We got to get serious yeah. about serving God. Yeah. We got to press our way. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about the Holy Ghost. People don't even start preaching now. Yeah. You don't need all of that. Hallelujah. I need to hold the Holy Ghost like me. Speak in the tongue. Hallelujah. Because we fight him since the turn of a demon now. They know that his time is almost up. That's why you don't see the church fool no more. He had already told him a poison of mind and said, you don't have to do all of that to be saved. But I believe that the mother of Jesus had to be saved. All right. What about you? She born in the world. All right. She brought him in the world. Mm. Hallelujah. She had to have it. What about you and I? Hallelujah. Don't let nobody tell you 
that you don't need? And don't you give up because you didn't get it the first time you turned or the first time you talked to God? Press. Keep pressing. Hallelujah. Keep putting that force up against the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. If you keep digging and keep rooting and keep moving forward, amen, God will open up the windows of heaven. He will pull you out of blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. See, we rely on folks too much and not rely on Jesus. Folks can't help you like God can. Because God owns everything. Somebody said, what you own? He said, I own the earth and the fullness thereof. I own the cattle upon a thousand years. Silver and gold belong to me. Man, you asking me, what do I own? I own the whole world. It's in my head. And whatever you need, God said, I got it. I got it. I got the lyrics. I got everything in the palm of my hand. But you got to press. You got to keep believing. Amen. And press for God to give. Amen. You praise God to bless it. See, some of you today, you feel like because of who you are. And because, amen, you serve in the church, because you're on the worship board, because you're singing the choir, because you even preach the word of God, you think God owes you something. God don't owe you anything, but you owe God everything. He don't ask you for a whole lot. One person said, it's your reasonable search to give God praise. And when you come into the house, we shouldn't have to beg you to praise God. We shouldn't have to press you. Hallelujah to get the blessing. Well, praise God. You ought to stand up on your feet and shout hallelujah. You ought to stand up on your feet and give God praise. For it was God. That made the way. It was God that died for you. And you should find praise in Him. That's why you haven't got your blessing. Because you haven't been pressed. Press on, saints. Press on, saints. The nearness is on the way. Don't look back. But lift up your eyes. Lift it up to heaven. And shout victory. Now, I'm ready to break loose now. I'm pressing. 
to the Lord. So while we stand, there's a one as you stand. You need to be baptized, so you got water and food, change your clothes. And truly, we got someone to take you down in his name. But if you're going through, if you're struggling, if you're pressing for the blessing, just believe right now. Tell God, I don't have to touch your God to know that it's you. Because <laughs> I can feel you are going to die, moving down on the inside. And right where you stand, praise God. Right where you stand, just to be on him. Father God, the great architect, the creator of the universe, the maker of all things. God, we love you, we praise you. We glorify, magnify thy name. Knowing, oh God, that without you, we can do nothing. Where's a ship without a sin? But thanks be to you, God. You give us the victory. Father God, as your people stand with a desire to be healed, a desire to receive the Holy Ghost, a desire, Lord, for maybe one of the family members to be blessed. God, I give it to you. For God, you know how to help in any situation. God, move right now. But most of all, whatever thy will is, let your will be done. If it's the healing to deliver the set free, God, you have all power in your hand. And God, help us, oh God, to keep pressing. Because we know that there's a blessing in me. Because God, you have blessed us. Through our oppressor. And we want to thank you and give you praise. Now God, walk with them. Be with them. Be by the side. As we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Can we give God a praise? Can we give him a praise?